Bah damn! And today I'm gonna take you through a nice one hour arm workout. You ready to go? Let's do it. What's going on guys? Chris with the Bah Damn channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. So, I'm gonna show you an awesome workout today, and uh, it's gonna be voiceover plus footage. So make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Let's take you through the workout. Here we go. Okay, so I thought it would be really important to show you guys like kind of how I get started for any upper body workout. I do band warm ups, and uh, so this is the, the very first thing that I do. I make sure that the band is in line with my elbow, and I'm doing 90 degree, um, basically what I call close to open or open to closes. And this one right here is a close to open right here with the opposite arm. Um, if you have some trouble kind of understanding what I'm talking about, I do have a video in my history. Uh, if you can locate it on my channel, this will definitely uh, explain this a little bit further. But this, uh, the whole purpose of doing this is to basically put, uh, you know, blood in the shoulder region into the rotator cuff region. And uh, believe it or not, anytime you do anything upper body, um, you're going to be using your shoulders. But anyways, here we have a uh, open to close right here. I've turned around. And um, I'm doing the same with the opposite arm right there. I'm doing a uh, close to open motion. And this is absolutely imperative if you want to have longevity in the gym and you want to be uh, you know, semi-injury free. This is definitely the thing that you need to be looking at doing. I do 20 reps of each movement. Then I move the actual um, spree band, right? It's what it's called, it's a red spree band. I move it up to... Um, the level of where my fist would be right and so there I am doing another you know kind of close to open or open to close movement right there and I'm putting the blood in my rotator cuff region and then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to throw that rope over my head and I'm going to do it with my other arm get 20 reps real quick and you really want to stick with 90 degree movements it's the most important thing is not to uh, you know go all the way back and not to go all the way down you just got to stick with 90 degree movements and if you do it just right and you try to keep your elbow, uh, you know, not really traveling very much through the entire movement, then all the uh, blood ends up going to the rotator region. So that's really good. And when all your blood's up in the shoulder region, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can have a great chest day, a great back day, a great shoulder day, and even a great arm day. But this is definitely one of the things that I prep with right here. So uh, right there we have a, uh, looks like a close to an open or something like that. Um, and I'm doing 20 reps on each side, so there you go. And uh, you know, if you feel like uh, yeah, I'm not feeling this whole band thing or whatever, you can take a couple little micro steps back, and you can increase the resistance on the band. But anyways, I just thought I'd show it to you. You can locate the other video on my channel. But let's crack into the workout. The very first thing are going to be dips, and you're going to need a weighted dip belt. So I did, you know, a warm up set of 40, 30, 20. And then here's my working set, eight, six, five, and three. We're looking at the set of six right here. Um, it's too bad we really can't see me going up and down on what my tricep is doing, but uh, the weight belt is absolutely crucial in this movement. I'm opening up the workout with some of the heaviest step first. And uh, yeah, weighted dip belt to do weighted dips, very important. I superset that with actual um, barbell curls, right? And, so, and the, gym that, the gym that I'm at, the, uh, the barbell curls are, they can be done like right across the way from the dip machine. So I put this thing in a, in a bench and I just sit there and I curl. And of course we're looking at six right here. And uh, tempo is a little bit slowed coming down, you know, try to go as fast as I can going up. And uh, that's the tempo I'm using. But yeah, barbell curl, uh, four sets, right? Eight, six, five, and three. All right, so let's, we're gonna be looking at another movement after this, a racket right there on the bench. The next movement that we're gonna be doing are skull crushers, and I like these a lot. So get a really nice wide base, keep everything really nice and flat on the bench, and get your head right at the very edge of that bench. As you can see, we're gonna be working on sets of eight to 10 reps, four sets. Majority of the stuff we're doing today is four sets, by the way. So, and then what you wanna do is you wanna keep your, your arm at a 45 degree angle right there, right? And you don't wanna be swinging that upper arm very much, right? Just the lower part of the arm. All right, and then I'm gonna rack it, and we're gonna be supersetting that directly with um, alternating hammer curls, as you can see right here. I actually did move it up to 45s on the next set, but I'm trying to get eight to 10 on each side and getting a really, really, really nice squeeze. And that's what basically I'm thinking about in this picture, in this uh, video, is I'm really thinking getting that squeeze mind-muscle connection 
uh, four sets of that, about a minute and 30 seconds in between the, you know, the entire stuff. But this is a superset, so it means it directly follows right behind uh, the tricep exercise that we saw, the skull crushers. So, very good thing to build your forearm and your bicep muscle right there. All right, so the next group of exercises that we're gonna be doing are gonna be single overhead uh, tricep extension with a dumbbell. So you can see that right here. I am just using one arm and my other hand is on my waist. I'm concentrating on making sure that, uh, you know, that the elbow doesn't flare out too much. That's the most important thing. If your elbow is flaring out a ton, you know, basically means you're using too much weight or you just don't have strong enough triceps yet. So you're gonna have to start training them. But you really want your elbow and your upper arm to be uh, as upright as possible. So as you can see right here, um, you know, it's pretty upright. I am leaning a little bit, but it is pretty much upright. But if that thing starts going towards the left, and uh, you can kind of tell when, it, when I start to struggle at the end that it starts to go to the left, and that's when I know that the set's over, you know? And, uh, but it's a really, really good way to get an incredible stretch in your tricep. We're doing four sets of this, eight to 10 reps on each side, and we're gonna superset that directly with uh, right here. We're gonna be do doing these wide grip, um, not wide grip, okay, so they're like, my hands are on the actual uh, far end of the uh, dumbbell, and when I curl up, you know, it feels, you can see that I'm doing supination right here. So when I curl up, I'm definitely supinating the, uh, the dumbbells. And uh, this actually will lead to an incredible pump in your biceps. So that's gonna be the superset, four sets, eight to 10 reps, directly following the overhead tricep stuff. Now, uh, I really wanted to burn my triceps out. So we're doing what's called a, uh, kind of like a quad cut method, right? I have a V bar right here. I'm going for 10 reps. Okay. A quad cut means you're going to be cutting 10 times. Actually, your quad cut means you're going to be cutting four times. I'm doing 10 reps on each cut. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch. So we're going to be doing four sets of this. And this is one of the easiest ways to start really taxing your triceps. Um, so after the 10 reps is done, I'll rack it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit lighter, right? As you can see right here, I make it a one step ladder. I move that pin one level up, and then I go and I do 10 more. And then after that, as opposed to just keeping the same exact exercise, I decided to vary it up, but I'm still gonna be working on the quad cut method. So quad cut means four cuts, 10 reps a piece, and uh, my first of the quad cut, the first half of the quad cut is gonna be this right here with the V bar. And then the other part of the quad cut, the last half, is going to be done with the tricep split rope, okay? So I'm adjusting the weight right here, and I'm about to do 10 of these things, tempo, pretty much fast. And when I do uh, the rope, I'm just trying to do a J hook at the very end, you can see. I really try to glue my elbows in as well. No swinging of the arms or anything like that. Just the lower arms, you can see, is just the only part really doing any kind of movement. And then here's my last cut. So this is the last of the 10 cuts or the 10 reps. And I'm gonna be doing four sets of that quad cut that you saw right there. And uh, if you're like, man, this is just a lot, it's not very much weight. It's not meant to be much weight because by the time all this is going on, I mean, your muscles are getting super, super taxed. So that's what I did right there. Then to tax them even more, I did two sets of this. So here we have a medicine ball, right? And I have a close kind of grip to it. And I am doing basically diamond, the equivalent of diamond head push-ups, except um, I have both feet on my ground, uh, on the ground, and uh, you know I have a ball instead of just the ground with my hands. So this definitely works a little bit more core, and it's getting pretty exhausting. I'm, I'm aiming for 20 reps with a direct superset of uh, these reverse grip, actually not reverse grip, but standard grip. Um, actually, no, these are reverse grip. Sorry, yeah, reverse grip. Um, tricep, uh, I guess they're presses of some sort. This is, it's like a push-up, except it's on an elevated bar, plus you're reverse gripping it. So, uh, and this is really the last step of taxing out the triceps. Um, I try to go to failure on here, so that could be 20, that could be 40, it really just depends. Now, after that, I decided, you know what, I wanna tax my biceps as well. So, I stuck that bar in the most upright position possible, and I'm doing jump-assisted chin-ups with five-second negatives, four to five-second negatives. So you can see I jump right there and then I do the negatives coming down. And I'm trying to count four to five seconds in my head, so it's really important. Like I don't want you guys to curl up because by the time this is going on, I mean, it, it could be pretty detrimental to your biceps. So you wanna be able to just jump and then use the negative coming down. And the negative still builds great, great amounts of muscles. Um, so yeah, five reps, 
uh, two sets only. You can see that I'm doing that right there. Now I'm going to superset this with that same bar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to a about a pocket line, I believe, right? So right about what my pocket line, or maybe a little bit higher than that. It's a little, the illusion is a little different right here, but um, under bar, right? And I'm going to forehead. They're basically under bar forehead curls right there. So I'm under a bar. I'm curling the bar to my forehead right there. And if you're like, yeah, it doesn't look like it's working out very much. Just trust me, it's working out a fair amount. And I'm going to burn out. So two sets, going to burn out, and it's just done. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, leave nothing on the table and go towards exhaustion at the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like the video. I'll see you on the next Bad Day and Video. Take it easy. Goodbye.